Shoo! Before we jump into today's video, guys, you know that I am doing a meet and greet over at Roger Sporting Goods in Kansas City. I'll put the address down in the description. I'll put it up on here. I'm going to be there this Saturday, August 3rd. Okay, like coming up within like the next couple of days. So if you guys are in the Kansas City area or anywhere nearby, come check it out. There's going to be a ton of vendors there, including us. Beefcake Jerk is going to be there. Ducks is going to be there. Buck's going to be there. This guy right here, he is going to be there. He's looking snazzy or whatever. So we're doing a meet and greet from 11 to 2 is the hours that I'm going to guarantee I'm going to be there. I might be a little bit earlier. I might be a little bit later. But if you guys show up between 11 and 2, we can hang out. We're going to have the roulette wheel. You can spin it, maybe win some free jerky, some free merch. We're going to be debuting a bunch of brand new Ducks products, Bucks products, Beefcake products, and just have a grand old time. So if you guys are in the area or you want to make the venture, make the trip down to Kansas City of Roger Sporting Goods, I will be there this Saturday from 11 to 2 for a Beefcake Jerky Ducks, Bucks, meet and greet. We'll see you guys there. Shit! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's right. I am revealing a secret that I've been keeping from you guys. But I here's the thing. I get to blame you, okay, for all of this secretiveness, okay? If you're thinking, Flair, I can't believe that you kept this a secret. Your guys are to blame. So, as you guys know, we moved Beefcake Jerky HQ out of the original building into this building that's behind me here. And then this building right over here is where we put all the stuff that was my personal stuff from the tornado. So when we did all of the tour videos, we, of course, I read all the comments comments personally. I went through there and I read a bunch of comments. A couple of them peaked my interest, okay? So I got to get out of the heat. It is steamy in here. So this is the Beefcake Jerky HQ, okay? Remember we talked about doing a storefront here in this area potentially. We've got offices up there. We've got the warehouse back here with all the racking. And this is basically where we do all the jerky things because we found the other building to house basically all my stuff from my personal shop to put it in there. You guys you guys know the drill, but this is jerky, okay? We got jerky happening here. So when we made the tour video, a bunch of you commented, okay, and said, Flair, once your shop gets... I'll I'll put them up right here. Flair, once your shop gets rebuilt, why don't you turn the other building that you're already leasing into the Ducks and Bucks headquarters? HQ, office space, fulfillment, everything. And I started to think about it. I was like, you know, it's not a terrible idea. So talked to Banjo, talked to Jake, talked to the boys and said, what do you, what do you think about that? What, what if we get my new shop built and then we move Ducks and Bucks into that building and then we can run both. We got Beefcake over here, Ducks and Bucks over there, our hunting property down the street, and then everything is back in my house. I feel like it's it's a perfect win-win. So that's what we're doing. That's the secret. You guys gave me the idea, but then I started to think about it. I was like, this is a great idea. Let's go ahead and do it. Here's the problem, okay? Here's, here's where things get Western, okay? As of uh, right now, we're coming up on season shortly, okay? It's still hot outside, but season starts pretty soon. And so if you guys know anything about ordering product and stuff is we try to get everything in a few months early and so although season isn't for a few months products are starting to be on their way okay and as far as all the new stuff for ducks and bucks we need a place to put it so i am now in the building that has all my personal stuff and you walk through here wow bam you see personal stuff we've got boats we've got more boats and we've got all the stuff up there so the problem is everything is on its way to be delivered to here but we clearly aren't ready because we have no racks i mean we have some racks but these racks came with the building Okay, I mean, we've got tree stands sitting here. I mean, we've got transfer pumps sitting here. My, my, like my personal home Christmas wreath is here. Okay, Brooklyn's plane that we got in on an Amazon return pallet is here. Okay, like my personal belongings are still here. So you might be thinking, well, Flair, how are you going to get your personal belongings out, get the Ducks and Bucks stuff in if you haven't even started construction in your new shop? See, that's where things get interesting. So we kind of ran into this predicament. This is what happens when I listen to you guys, right? Again, I'm blaming you for any, anything that happens that goes wrong in today's video or for this entire venture of bringing Ducks and Bucks back up here to Nebraska. I'm going to blame you you guys for it because it was your idea. Okay, I'm kind of kidding, but I'm also kind of not. So we ordered shipping containers, okay? Two of them to be exact. And one of them is getting delivered right now. The other one we got set up with some racks. And so basically the plan is to take all of my stuff. Okay, like these are the lev racks from the tornado building. I mean, you've got more tree stands, more tree stands. Apparently big tree stand guy, obviously. For some guy I don't like heights, that's interesting. So then you got propane tanks. You've got chain, like that's my chainsaw. These are all my personal, why you got so many chop saws? I don't know, okay? So we've got everything. I mean, these are traps. Okay, those are snares, tripods, okay, with a framing square. All of my personal, every, everything that I own personally is here, and we got to get it out of this building in order to make room for the racks that also got delivered today. If you're curious, today is quite hectic. So this morning, all the racks got delivered, unloaded, and ready to rock and roll. So bam, they're sitting here, ready to go. These are going to be the new power racks. It's going to look just like the beefcake building. But the problem is we have nowhere to put them because my stuff is in here. So now we got to get my stuff out. So then what I did was I made some phone calls to Chad the Dirt Guy, and I said, Chad, I I got to get shipping containers out here like ASAP because I need a place to put my stuff.
stuff so we have a place to put ducks and bucks stuff because my viewers told me to do this and he said we're on it so wah bam chad's out there right now in his wheel loader he brought his truck he's got a second shipping container the first shipping container is right here so i decided to go with two different styles of shipping containers both of them are high cubes 40 footers you're talking big dongs you're talking nine foot six inches high okay by 40 feet long so this first one we got double doors this is like the nicer one it's called one tripper they're like brand new so this is what it looks like so we got this outfitted with racks in here on both sides we're starting to put my stuff in here these are my personal belongings like what's in here? what's in here? Cock, literally cock. Okay, so I'm putting all my personal belongings in here. So we gotta get everything from the shop out into here. Whatever isn't like in totes, like bulk, we're gonna palletize it. And then we're gonna try to stick in that guy, which is a giant 40 footer. Okay, and that one's only got one door and it's not new. So it's, but it's a lot, it's, I mean, it's like half the price, a lot cheaper. So there's a lot going on today. We got forklifts parked out here. We've got pallet racking that's got delivered. We got the new container that just got delivered. The old container's ready to rock and roll. And uh, we have an entire warehouse filled with things that cannot be in here in order to make room for ducks and bucks. So that's the secret I've been keeping from you guys. You guys gave me the idea back when the tornado hit and through a lot of work and a lot of effort and a lot of planning and honestly a little bit of poor execution considering uh, everything is happening at once, but we decided we'll document it uh, for you guys to enjoy. So with all that being said, that's the secret. Ducks and Bucks is officially coming back to Nebraska. You guys stay tuned. Forklift operator at your service. That's right. Wow, bam. We got, well, the majority of it. There's still a few here, and we've got a few other things kind of sitting right over here that need to go. So what we're doing is we've got the majority of the one shipping container filled with all of the stuff that goes on racks. Man, do these suckers hold a lot? Why? I think shipping containers are just like a newly discovered life hack of some sort. I mean, look at this sucker. I mean, we got the decoys hanging. We got all this stuff. I mean, look how much room we still have. All this room we still have. You know, all that. It's just all accessible. It's all labeled. Dog training. In case Lucy forgets oh, at, at least this. i got it what else you got a road rash oh god that blind bag <laughs> made it is she made it so we got this container pretty much done we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of it kind of unloaded um and stacked on here but at least we do have a little bit of extra room and then i did leave room for four pallets you know bulk items here so one two three four and that way you've got doors on that end so if you need to get something from the shelves you can go over there the reason why we did that is because there's concrete here so if you are going to get stuff off of pallets with like a forklift it'd be better to get it off concrete so in case you're wondering why it seems backwards so then look at that someone got a dolly they're yeah. They're, they're thinking now. So these are all the lever racks from the old place that have to go in here. Uh, wow, this is a cooker in this sucker. It's like 102 degrees outside. So this is a used one. It's a little bit cheaper, but no double doors. And so we're gonna get all of these racks placed in here. And then whatever whatever room is still left, we're gonna try to, basically if all my stuff can fit in two shipping containers, that's the goal. Showed up. Yeah, yeah. He came in time to get damp. I did. Mm -hmm. yeah, just yep. time. Look at this. Cleared all out. So we got to take all these racks. And you might be thinking, Flair, why are you taking racks and put racks up? Because these aren't tall enough. We need to get one star so we can do like a four tiered dealio. Um, and so all of these racks need to go. And then we're going to fill the entire new thing completely filled with racks. But I want to show you the shipping containers. I, we filled two of them with my stuff. You imagine that. You get enough crap. You fit in two 40 footers, son. Okay. Um, but this one's super nice because you can actually access stuff um, with all the shelving. I mean, it, I think this actually 
actually turned out pretty good. If anyone's looking at getting shipping containers, this is how I would do it. I mean, look at that. You got your decoys, your traps, your saws. You got racks that go all the way down. Boys are getting everything filled in, labels. That way you can still get to it. That's the biggest thing with the shipping containers. I didn't do that. So I'm like, dude, once you fill it, you're never going to go back because it's hard to get to. Because then it typically looks like this. This is what typical shipping containers look like. And so we've got tons of tree stands that we'll be hanging in the next month or two. And just and the whole thing of ammunition and just basically random stuff. That And then all the lever racks are kind of in the back just hanging out there. So this is all stuff that we didn't think we would probably need for a couple months. So it's not like a huge deal. This is the stuff that on a random Tuesday, I might ask for something. Ideally, it's going to be found in this guy here. So look at that. Clean as a whistle. This stuff is ready to go in there once that stuff gets out. And we are moving ducks and bucks officially to Nebraska. Thanks to you guys. If it doesn't work, I blame you. Stay tuned. pallet racking folks we got pallet racking in the brand new building ready for our very first shipment which should be here in the next week or so we're trying to get prepared and we're not sure exactly when it's going to be here but we're going to be getting i mean we were doing the math and i think we're running out of space i'll be honest i think we, we we ordered a lot of stuff this year a lot of new stuff a lot of cool stuff brought back some classics as well um so the idea with the design now that we kind of have it situated and you guys can see is this is going to be like the, they call it the picking area okay so this shell from here down is going to have like all these little bins and totes that have like skews and barcodes and pictures and that's where you're going to grab stuff up here is going to be like restocking so you might have like maybe you got like a camo hoodie here then you might have the box of extra camo hoodies above it and then above that would be you've got storage for two pallets so we're trying to make it where it's like you pick here you restock there and then those are like your bulk restocks okay and so i mean you could tell we've got a couple we got like a garage door deal and like a bean that you only have 50 inches of clearance so like we won't be able to put full full pallets on everything that's the problem with trying to do a warehouse in a building that's honestly not designed to be a warehouse because it's pitched uh, the, the parts of the ceiling are high enough, parts of the ceiling are not high enough. Um, and then you've got this area, which is just kind of for the same thing, kind of bulk stuff, do some pick, pack, and shipping there. Um, we've got a whole bunch of tables here that we're gonna have to set up for shipping stations, packing stations, stuff like that. Those are kind of just sitting there ready to go. And then same thing on this side will be the same layout where you've got picking stuff here, back stock here, and then pallets up there. And then the rest of it is just bulk storage. Bulk pallets, you stick, well, hopefully for depending, Okay, don't put anything by the fan. We gotta take that fan down. Four pallets high is the idea. And that left us all this room over here. And again, we might extend a little bit. Maybe we say, hey, let's put a rack this way that goes up that we can also pick from. But we just didn't wanna crowd this area too much. Obviously, we gotta be careful about blocking garage doors. So we have access to this one here and we have access to this one there. That one, we just said we don't need three garage doors for really what we're doing. It doesn't it doesn't really pertain to what we're doing. You got inbound, outbound, pretty much only two things that you need to worry about. So. Pallet racks are in. Like I said, we've got, I don't know, hopefully a week. We're still not quite ready to get stuff ready to go, but I mean, this should store, I would say quite a bit. Uh, in comparison to the jerky building, I think we can store, you know, maybe 10 or 15% more than what we can at the jerky building, um, just because the way that this thing is laid out, it's more of like a square. Um, but this video is not over. We are gonna be doing some improvements to the office uh, in today's video. I wanna give you guys a quick tour in case you're new here and give you guys some updates. So this room right here needs, we need to do something with it. This is gonna have to be like warehouse, manager office we need to put a window right here that's what we've got in the other building which is kind of handy because you can talk to them you can see what's going on and the only issue is they don't there's no ac in this room there's there's ac in this room but not in this room so we're gonna have to plumb that in there um this is just a bathroom in case you're new here i don't know maybe you aren't new here and then we've got like a little break room which is kind of cool back here that is pretty much it's just dirty but you got waters, so you're not gonna die at least. You're gonna survive. Um, and then we, we also have this area. We're gonna try to figure out what, what do we wanna do up here? 
I mean, other than just storage, because stairs suck, okay? No one likes stairs. So we gotta figure out what are we gonna do with this? There's just a bunch of random, it's not really great for like what we sell for picking and stuff. So uh, we gotta get creative up here because there's there's a good usable space and you can kind of look down at everything. So I don't know, some type of storage, but we might end up getting rid of this stuff and putting in our own racking system. That's something that'll actually make sense. Maybe we just do something light because you don't want to carry them out all the way up the stairs. So comment down below, as you guys see, what you in this video what we're doing what we're coming up with let me know if you guys have any ideas but biggest thing today was the pallet rack the other two things were well three things there's three things that we still have to do now that we're pretty much ready to start getting ducks and buck stuff is we got to get one a storefront done okay which is going to go here this is where the storefront's going to go for you guys to come hang out now we talked about doing two we said maybe we do jerky on one and we do ducks and bucks on another i think we're just going to do all in one and this side work makes more sense because it's more of like a square you don't have that big staircase going in the middle so we're going to start working on that hopefully fingers crossed open sometime early fall that's at least the goal in here is a big conference room which is probably just going to stay a conference room everybody needs a conference room okay so conference room there you've got one bathroom here okay and you got two why well, you need two his and hers i don't and they're huge they're like these are the and they've got the ring light for you tiktokers okay so i mean it's you can live it here i say you just put your bunk bed here yeah. you ain't got to go far you know what I mean? You eat Taco Bell, you roll out of bed, you're gonna be fine. Then in here, the world's largest room, we don't know what to do in here as well. So far we got some cooking supplies. So that was one idea, catch and cook. Hear the echo, we gotta figure that out. But huge, I mean like, I mean unless you're like skinning your deer on this, what do you need this thing for? For catch cooks, I feel like it's a little excessive. Full size refrigerator, it's brand new. Again, it's not, it's not ours. Okay, and then you got this corner where people forgot to put cabinets on. And then this back corner, Jake and I were talking about, maybe of all the of all the cool rooms, this might be the kitchen, believe it or not. Uh, because we found this. This is already like plumbed in, ready to go for a sink. And so this was a, uh, I don't know, filing cabinet area, but I was like, honestly, kind of fits the, fits the catch and cook vibe because we can put a sink in here, okay? Still have a little bit of room for a smaller refrigerator, not a big one. Uh, if you remember like the old catch and cook kitchen at my old house in my garage, remember that setup where it's like we had like little shelves, we had a refrigerator, we had a cooktop, maybe set up just like that. I'd like a smaller area for cooking. Um, plus, then we can shut the door, okay? In case we have like actual important people working in here and I start yelling shoe while I chef up, you know, sloppy crow or something like that, then I'm not bothering anybody. Um, and this would give us kind of our own designated area. Maybe we put reclaimed wood wall, look at that. Hibachi right there. Like Let's it. see it. So, I don't know, we'll have, to, we'll have to brainstorm, but I like this room for a catch and cook kitchen because it's kind of just off on its own in a closet somewhere. We don't have to like, like this. I mean, this would be like something Paul Dean would have for a kitchen, all right? Like this is a full blown studio, all right? We don't need, we ain't need to be a Pioneer Woman's got something that looks like this. We need something that big. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys said no. Turn this into like the world's largest commercial grade kitchen, which we could definitely do. But that seems a lot more economical and a lot more practical for what we're what we're after. Since the hunting property is really close by, we're obviously going to be doing tons of catch and cooks here um, versus my house. Some of them will be at my house. It's like we're not we're never going to go there. But this being so close, it'd be nice to have a place to come in here, clean the deer, clean the ducks, clean the fish, whatever we end up getting, and then have a nice little cooking area to prepare our dishes uh, throughout the season. So as we go up here. This is like where the majority of the offices are. And so we're going to do one, at least one improvement today. Minus the AC, because AC is not working. That needs to happen. It's hot in this loft. <sighs> I've had the AC guys out like every day. Can't figure it out. So this is, this is Banjo's office, isn't it? He's probably got something interesting right on that wall. Probably shouldn't show you. So he's, Banjo's sits in here, okay? And then you come through here and, well, nobody sits in there yet. Okay. And then you've got a couple more, three actually over here. No one sits in here yet. Okay. He come through here. Wabam. I don't know. There's just random. What do we got here? Some secrets? Oh, no one's seen these before. No one, no one's seen these before. This is, this is apparently the sample room. Okay. Keep an eye on the corn or something. So this will be somebody's office at some point. We haven't really figured out who's going where. And then we got to Look at the trail cameras. We are ready for the season, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. So that's not it though. There's what, five offices? Yeah. A sixth one. Okay, well, okay, before we get over here, we this could be potential for catch and cook. It's just a little skinny because we already have a sink. We get one of those mobile cabins, we just lock in that corner. I'm down. And then we're, we're ready. I mean, it really, this would actually work pretty good. So you got the sink. Okay, you got some storage. Okay, microwaves right here, classic, and refrigerator. So there's a chance we just make this work. It's just, nah, I'm not, I'm not feeling the vibe. Not I'm not feeling, nah, I like the closet, big closet guy. So then through here, this is the Mondo, Mondo office, okay? 
world's largest desk. I don't think you could put a we, mattress straight on that. I don't know why why this is in here. And then through here is the world's fanciest office shower. I'm not sure what happened in here, but I mean this thing's got the 360 car wash effect. Hey, you used this. One. I used it the other day when I swim in the pond. I, I showered off. So. Um, we're gonna be renovating this room today, in today's video, and it's not gonna be, I say renovate as if it's a lot, but here's our idea. This makes no sense to be an actual office, okay? Nobody needs this much space, and unless we're gonna make like a big community office where like seven guys sit in one room, this doesn't make any sense. So, I thought, well, since it's got a shower, since it's got a view of the corn, okay, and it's huge, what if we make this a flare b and if you will, okay? Where people can come and, not you guys, don't come here please, but like, if an invited guest, maybe one of you guys, maybe we do a giveaway, we give away a hunt, and need a place to stay, it could be in this room. I'm thinking bunk beds back there, I'm thinking maybe a couch or something here eventually, we'll have to see what we can find. Get rid of this, we don't need that sucker. And then, yeah, I'm thinking, cause that way like, if people wanna come in town, they can stay, they got places to sleep, they got a couch to hang out on. We could come in here and hang out and vibe. Okay, you got a place for TVs right there. You got the a brainstorming board up there. If the AC works, there is AC in here, but it's not working today, so it's really hot. Um, so I'm thinking this would be like a cool, cool room, back room, kind of away from the office, away from the warehouse, where if we have people come in town that want to hunt, want to fish, um, or whatever it might be, they've got a place to stay. So that's what we're gonna do today. Well, not today, it's gonna be tomorrow. Amazon's delivering. We've got some beds that we're gonna put up here and see if they fit. And then we need your guys' comments to figure out what else should we do. We gotta take this thing out at some point, get rid of it. I don't know what you do with it, but it's gotta go. And then we need to put some bunk beds in there. And that way, hey, if Banjo wants to put in some long hours, he ain't gotta drive home. No excuses, okay? For them long meetings he's always in, hey, he can sleep here, he wakes up, takes his meetings, he'll be in business, he walk over here, and then hopefully we've got our storefront dangling down in here one of these days. I'm thinking, if I was to guess on the storefront, hmm, I'm guessing first to second week of October. So I'm guessing, what do you think? I like it. I, think, I mean, because we got to get ourselves situated back here first because, you know, as fun as a storefront sounds, you've got this that needs, that's, Banjo needs a sliding window so you can yell at people. Oh yeah. Otherwise he's going to get back to work. You know what I mean? And then they're, they're, they're going to have their AirPods in and I, I'm just kidding. So um, that's kind of what we got going on. I guess we want to give you guys a quick tour if you're new here. Plus you've got this access too. So Banjo can actually go yell at people if he wants to. Or you walk out here and what? it's cooler in here. Yeah, the AC in this. The AC in here. So then, there you go, and you can oversee. We got a lot of work to do. We're gonna keep you guys updated. If you guys like the videos of us doing all this, obviously let us know. But hopefully tomorrow we got Amazon bunk beds getting delivered, and we're gonna start getting this room figured out. Eventually we gotta start getting the ketchup cook room figured out. We gotta get the storefront figured out, and of course the warehouse has got to be figured out. So with that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So I'm not allowed on these projects. Complete, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. You like the you like that couch? Uh -huh. Have you tried pulling the other one out yet? No. That's a pull up. Let's see it. I want to see what the pull up. We got the two bunk beds situated. This is a twin, full, full twin. What? What's going on here, Banjo? Nothing. I'm just thirsty. Oh, I. How do you like it up there? It's nice. Is it? Is yeah. it? Is this thing sturdy enough for? Oh, I mean, you, I was going to say, you better put something against that wall. Yeah. Post-meeting nap or what? Yeah, oh, yeah. I was going to say, honestly, it's where we should have our meetings. Yeah. Then just take a snooze. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to see what this thing, pull it out. Pull it out. Yeah. So we got, we can sleep four here. Probably can't really sleep on that, but that's just for hangout. And then you should be able to sleep at least one guy, obviously. Huh? There was, uh oh. There were zip ties. Yeah, there ain't zip ties it, anymore. Huh? I haven't seen one of these in so long. I have one. I used, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. I hadn't seen one since I was a kid. No bedding, but hey. Uh, how is it? It's a little short. Oh wow! Yeah, I was gonna say it's wide, but it is it is wide. It is, it is a little shorter than I expected. But at least you you can sleep. You know, 
four, five comfortably, and then hey, we got plenty of room. We don't, so we don't. I'm not an interior designer, but like this is obviously a lot of unused space. I was thinking maybe get some chairs in here. Obviously, a rug, coffee table would be handy. But I mean, I think the flare and bs coming coming along. And then uh, you guys already seen this, but we got the bathroom in here. We got to clean that up. So that way, if, if anyone wants to come into town, come hang out with us. I've already got well, booked real soon. Really? Yeah. 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 Just got it Honestly, think about it. It'd be kind of a cool Airbnb. Yeah. Like, like a legit, you guys come hang out. Hey, you wait in the middle of the night, start packing orders. You start, you All right. start guiding hunts, you got your own lodge. This is the, this is the lodge now. We go hunt over there. Okay, you come back, you pack orders in the afternoon. I feel like that could be, then, then you, what if we do that? What if it's a free guided hunt, but you got to pack orders for like five hours and then that's how you like. It's not free then, you work for but us. But we only do bullfrog hunts. Really? Yes, only guide bullfrogs. Just, <laughs> that's it. Bullfrog guides in the back pond. Okay, you come out here, you don't have to pay anything you just have to work for like five hours you gotta pack jerky okay you stay here for free banjo will tuck you in just like he's doing right now he'll sleep tight he'll read you some books yep. and stuff read. yeah he can't read so anyways there you have it there is the update flare bnb room is complete the warehouse is now ready for our shipments for the products to start coming in i don't we don't know how many there's going to be i think there's going to be probably quite a bit but we got the racking put up so we're at least ready to receive hopefully all the goods for this season if you guys want to see us you know get the deliveries and take them and run the warehouse. And if you guys like the kind of like the behind the scenes stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys think we should seriously Airbnb this room, you have to let me know. I think it's, I think it's a cool idea. You guys have to let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And peace.